Yeah. All right. Fight number three is scheduled for four three-minute rounds. And first... I, I bet Troy is happy. This is a oh, good one. Oh, yeah. I, I bet the fans Crowd are happy. It. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I bet the fans <laughs> are happy with that. Yeah, that's good to watch. Yeah. I, I don't like boring fights. No, I I'm don't I'm going to tell you right now. I don't uh, like... I will take a quick fight that's super exciting and, and uh, explosive. Yeah. I like... Being a martial artist all my life, yeah. I like dynamic. I like dynamics. Oh, yeah. You know, like uh, when people practice, a lot of time they practice what they call static. Yeah. And static, it's not the same. Dynamic, when you're doing it in competition or in the street, you know, say something like that, it's a lot different. And this is dynamic. Oh, yeah. And so some people can do this and some people cannot do this. Oh, we definitely get to see the ones that can right here. All right. I go as far back as Bruce Lee. He was one yeah, of my absolutely. favorites. Absolutely. And Billy Jack, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Fighting out of the red corner, Ferris Dixon. Yeah. yeah, Billy Jack was my hero as a kid. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. Him and Chuck Norris. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. But they all fell into place. The mm -hmm. Chuck Norris, the Bruce Lee, and the Billy Jack. No, but Billy Jack, I liked him because he was a defender. Oh, yeah. He wanted to protect the people. That was, that was an awesome movie. Oh, look at this uh, beautiful uh, garb coming wow. out here, man. I, I like that, too. Some of these oh, guys yeah. are flashy. They got nice gear. They wear cool stuff out to the ring. And, oh, and they, they just got their swag. They got swag, they do. you know? Look at that. They that need, you nice. know, it, it, it's, it's hard to get a sponsorship anymore, you know? That is really nice. Yeah. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking that's Aaron. I want to say it right. I think it's Aaron Harrison that does that design. I'll have to check and see that I'm right. Huh. For fight number three out of the blue corner at 135 pounds from New Albany, Indiana, please welcome Cameron. Detroit, Michigan has some good fighters. Okay, Jack, check it out. Uh, Cameron Kane, this will be the third fight I've called of his. Yeah. He's fun. Watch this. Yeah. Don't blink. He, he's fun, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, uh, um, he's had a few really good fights, grueling fights. He just, he, he think he dropped his last one, but it was a good fight. There was a momentum shift uh, towards the end of the last round. The, the, the second half of the fight, it was a four-round the second half of the fight, he took a, uh, quite a bit in the first couple rounds, but then he turned it around. Towards the end of the fight, we actually thought he might get the win, and it went the other way. But, you know, like I said, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see that uh, That never, that never give up, that no quit. That uh, You know, look look here. They say, uh, they say uh, Coach, Coach Ray Seals likes to say, uh, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Right? Oh, yeah. Agreed. It's not the dog in the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kid looks tough right here. Uh-huh. He looks solid. From Detroit. He's nice and relaxed. Nice jab. Mm -hmm. He caught him uh, right there. Yep. Um, Got to be careful when you're moving back. You can't move straight back. No. <laughs> Caught him with a sharp left there. Waiting for that right hand. Put a right hand on his body right there, too. Yep. Yeah, nice nice jab. Yeah, he looks like he's been fighting for a while. Yeah, he does. I don't, I don't see his record either. Uh, yeah, this kid here looks like he has some experience. Fainting a little bit, moving good. I think he hit him a couple times, and uh, uh, Kane had to readjust and think about his his initial strategy at least, because yeah. he caught a few. He just he, caught a few more. I don't think the kid's giving him time. He's pressing him, and he's coming in solid. He looks very he solid. There's another left hook. Kane ties him up there on the ropes. Yeah. Yeah.
yeah, uh, Dixon looks super focused. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, his eyes are like right on. laser focused. He's waiting to throw that right hand. You watch. Laser focused. Boom. Caught him with another left hand. Uh, Kane's going to need to watch moving forward and, and throwing punches just loosely should, like that. Southpaw should move to his right. Yeah, you, you got to move away from that power. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, Dixon is definitely keeping keeping him pressed and keeping him in the, oh, yeah. moving him around, basically at will. You can tell he's got experience. He, he caught a couple shots there, but nothing, nothing nothing really solid. Right. He's moving effectively. We're down here to the end of the first round. Ooh. He just fired nice right left hand, hand left back. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, he did. Like I said, the last fight, the first couple rounds, it didn't look so great. Honestly, it looked a little bit like he was going to get uh, maybe put out pretty quick. Yeah. But by the time the third round, fourth round came around, it definitely changed up. I mean, it definitely changed up. Good. And, and I, I think uh, half of the house at least thought he won. If yeah. they would have called it a draw, it wouldn't yeah. have surprised me any. Dixon looks like he's got some experience, a lot of experience, really. Moves around good. Detroit usually has some pretty good fighters. <laughs> what round is that? <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> round two. I was just joking. <laughs> I don't know. This kid is focused over here, man. Yeah. Fix him. He is focused. I, I agree with that. Man, he's fast, too. Yes, he is. And that, uh, when he throws that jab and stuff, it's straight and it's hard. The right hand of the body was good. The kid's moving right into the left hand. I know. Oh, oh big right hand to the body. Yeah. Ooh, that was thunderous. You, could, you heard that one. Yeah. He's on his bike, though. He's still moving. Yeah, he is. Dixon likes that body. Uh, that's, that's what I would say, that uh, when I seen Kane fight in the past, he, he had that never say die attitude. He wasn't yeah. going nowhere. I mean, he, he was there to fight. Right. He's absorbing some shots. That, that left hand hurt right there, though. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah that, that left hand was tough. This kid stays aggressive. He might get him. You know, honestly, uh, Dixon's only got uh, one fight. He won his first fight. I, I thought he was a new pro. Uh, he has a lot of amateur experience. A lot. You can you I tell. Mean, look at those look shots. Those the uppercuts and digs to the body. Oh. And he put some serious. Kane is tough. Yeah, he is tough. Now you see, he's still in this fight. Yeah. He's still moving he's and still punching. I know. And those were some heavy shots right there. Heavy shots. Still firing. He just needs to keep moving away from that power. Punch them heads. So yeah, so uh, so now I know that uh, yeah, Dixon is a new pro, but yeah, he's got a lot of experience. Uh, he does. Kane gets a a, a bump on his street cred though, because he just took that that oh. barrage and he's still effectively moving and striking in return. So. 
Another big. Oh, oh I don't know about that get, one. Oh, he's got to keep his hands up. That was that was a heavy, he keeps moving heavy, into, he keeps moving heavy into combination. Heavy combination. I'm sure his corner is telling him to move that other direction. Yeah, I'm sure too. Yeah, he he took a couple really hard shots right there. He needs to turn out of that corner. Nice straight left hand. He catches a right oh, hook there. He's gonna survive this round. Man, oh man, ten seconds. He needs to get keep stay out of those corners. Keep you know working out of there. Man, oh man. That was, my kid's a tough kid right there. I told you. That that was tough. I mean, he hit him with some right hands to the body, right hands man, to the head. Man, oh, man. I told you. I, that's, that's durable. You know, yeah. that's being durable in the in the ring. Yeah. I've seen I've seen other guys take less and take a knee or, oh, yeah. or you know, wave I, themselves off. I hate that. Well, you know, it, you know when you're done. You know when you're done. There's no point in taking any more. But there's still uh, – I come from the old mentality that you, you either – Get knocked out or cutting you. Go out on your shield. <laughs> yeah, that's me too. Same way in the when they're you know if you're doing like submissive arts like jujitsu or something. Yeah. You know most people most people would prefer that you most people would prefer that you um, choke them to sleep yeah. than to tap. Yeah. But of course if it's a joint lock where it's going to cause an injury to your elbow, your knee, or yeah. something like that, your ankle. Yeah, you, you're probably going to tap and just call it a day. Right. Live to fight another day. Sometimes it has yeah. to be the strategy. It just kind of depends what you're doing. But in boxing, yeah, I, I like it when they go full out and they're, you know, they're going to give it everything. Leave it all in the ring. Yep. Kane comes out, throws one jab. But one jab is not going to do it with this guy. No. He's going to have to put some uh, combinations together. There you go. That's what he's going to have to do right there. He moved forward and threw a nice two-punch combination there. If Dixon starts getting going backwards, though, I think it's going to be it. Well, for their, for their size, too, Dixon does look kind of muscular. He does. And we all know that the muscle plays a factor in a boxing competition or fight at any time. He just yeah. got another hard overhead, right? He caught another left hook left as hook. he was coming out of that corner, too. The kid threw us nice flurries. Yes. I'm telling you now, though, Kane is durable because we done seen him get cracked pretty good today. Yeah, he took, he took some he took good punishment there last round. It's all a part of this though. It's all a part of learning as a, oh, as a yeah. young boxer, Definitely. especially a young professional boxer. Yep. I mean, you, you know, I I like to say too, you know, you, you never really you never really win, uh, or pardon me, you never really lose. You either win or you learn. Yeah. 100%. You win or you learn. Get because even experience. a loss is a win. Yep. Because you did it. Like I said, there's hundreds of thousands of men all over the United States that would love to do this, but they don't oh, have the courage yeah. to do it. You're so that's right. why I commend these guys so much. And like I said, I, I feel blessed just to be a part of all this. This is Me too. This is exciting. I it mean, is very exciting. This is a beautiful venue that we're in tonight, too. Very nice. I think they did a really nice job putting everything together. I was yep. here uh, less than a year ago, six, eight months ago, I think, and we did a show here, and it was really exciting that night, too. We had a great time, some really good fights. Yeah. Dixon stung him with another strong right hand right there. Yeah. But they're both in the center of the ring. Yeah. And Kane, Kane is there. Where are we at in this round? I'm about uh, third round, but... Uh... What we got? 30 seconds, 40 seconds, maybe? 30 seconds. All right, good call, 42 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Wow. My <laughs> internal clock was running. I know. I try to pay attention. Somebody somebody asked me about the doing the commentating. I'm like, you know, I don't. I do everything off the cuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say until I say it because I don't know what they're going to do. Right. What they do dictates pretty much a lot <laughs> of the stuff I say. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes I'll call a punch wrong, and then somebody will try to get back to me and be like, hey, that was actually a, okay, I get it. It's just like what I was saying about when you're fighting. Right. When you're fighting, you're not thinking about all that. You're doing it. That's for sure. It, things move very fast sometimes. Yep. See, you see, you see, nice. you got through that round, too. You did. Yeah, it's fun to watch these. 
to watch these fights. Uh, oh, it is. It's fun to be here. I love coming out of Indianapolis and coming over here to Louisville. Like I said, I get to hang out with my uh, boxing and my fight family here in Louisville. Uh, they make me feel like a second son now. Oh, you know, I know. I've been coming over here for almost about four years now. They and love you. Every time, every time I'm here, um, I learn something new. I learn something new about the champions, the former champions, like the greats, like Paige and Ali. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we got young prospects that are coming up here in this city, like uh, Timothy uh, Mayhem Moten, um, great young heavyweight prospect. He's already been over and uh, trained with Anthony Joshua. Oh. He went and trained for the Ruiz fight. He did some sparring with Anthony Joshua and did a, a several month camp with him. And I mean, that's great experience that's, for a young heavyweight fighter, okay? Great experience. I mean, uh, you, you don't get no closer to the greatness than that. No. And then that means that maybe you're coming up into that. And I believe that. He's, I think he's 11 and 0 now. Oh, so, that's yeah. good. I've been blessed to call about half of his fights so far. So Well, you are, that is blessed. We're back here for the fourth round. Fourth and final round. Yep. Like I said, I told you the, the, the good last stuff. Yeah, yeah. And hats off to him for taking those heavy oh. shots. Yeah. My goodness. He took some nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Huge left hand. I hooked in it. Woo! I hooked. Man. Would have put most people out. Man, that's what I'm saying. Honestly, there, there's a lot of guys that cannot take that shot. No. And he's taking about six of those. Right. The right hand suit, man. Right and he's still on his bike moving. This, yeah. is, this is good. Yep. Like I said, this is learning experience, and he's still in the fight. He is. Man, it don't. We're, we're into our third fight, and then. <laughs> woo! Some good stuff. Some nice action here tonight. Oh yeah, this is this, is, this one here is for sure. And like I said, it's great to come out and get to see these guys, and you see them the first time, and maybe the next time you see them, you oh hey, I remember that guy. I remember what he did in that fight, or he took some stuff and he came back and right, he made a good fight out of that. Ooh, there you go. He's still firing. He's still moving. He's got his legs underneath yeah. him. And, man, for some of those big shots, I expected him to maybe go down. I did, too. He has not been down. No. He's tough. Pressing the action and forward and yeah. moving Dixon into the corner now. Now, I don't know if that's a lulling strategy either, but, <laughs> you know, some yeah. some guys will love to do that and put you there and get you, get you bait you, uh, so to speak, set that trap, right? Yep. Exactly what it is, is a trap. Doing I, it again. I tell you what, I am absolutely not disappointed in this action. Tonight. No. Oh, they both exchanged nice shots there. Kane he, is pressing the action. He is really pressing it. He, he knows this is the fourth round and he needs this round. Yeah. Matter of fact, he needs to put his man down is what he, he does. needs. He needs a knockout, yeah. And I'm sure that that was the instruction from the corner. I, I mean, I can't see him yeah, telling him other than go out, go all out. Oh, oh, he just ate another straight hard right hand. I mean, and another right hand to the body right there. Yep. Yeah, there, there's no quit in him. He's tough. Right. I think he just took one on the cup right there, yeah, too. Yeah, he did. Love and he, look, he worked straight through it. He didn't even ask nothing. He didn't even mention it. Boomer been on it. He's he's definitely uh, Dixon has been on it. Yes, he has. And he literally has hit him with everything oh. but the kitchen sink. Yes. The hooks that are body, the right hand. Oh my goodness! Head. Look, finishes strong, nice. and he's still nice. ready to fire. Ready to fire at the end. That's good stuff. Nice. Wow. All of you out there watching this broadcast, I hope you're perfectly entertained. That was that was a. Is that this was a, a six rounder? I thought it no, was a four. It's four. They're coming off. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're done. With a five. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but you know what? She still presented beautifully 
She got up in there and she's on her job. She's there. You are right. She is uh, she's Johnny on the spot. She's doing a great I think, job. I think she was excited and wanted to see him go another One round. That's round. what I yeah, think. I, think, I yeah. want to see him go another round. <laughs> Me too. I know we can't do that once the bounce, once the bounce are signed, but yeah. I would love to see that extra round card. You know, hey, that was super good. Let's see yeah. what happens in the next round. I'll tell you, he took some good body shots, Man. good head shots. I was... Wow. Yeah, that he, uh durable. That's the Very word that's durable. just smacking me right in the forehead. Yeah. Durable. That was a good showing again. Like I said, yeah. even even if he doesn't win this fight, he's he learned tonight. He learned something. Sure he did. And he's gonna there's gonna be some good takeaways from this one. Look at him, he's still good. He's still good. That's yeah. I'm I am blown away, man. That is yeah. Yeah, lesser men would have fell. Oh, yeah. No question asked. Lesser men would have fell. This kid's got some experience here. Fight number three. Winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner. Yeah. Right. Enterprises.